Yeah, let me share this new app that I've been using, I think for two months now, maybe even three months. I've been using it for a while and I love it. So it's called One Sec. My friend Niels Koppelmann told me about it and I've been using it since. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but I sometimes spend too much time on Instagram or I open Instagram when I'm just kind of bored. I don't really have anything to do. And then you open it and then you somehow end up spending half an hour or an hour on that app. And then you you wake up and you're like, what was I doing? Like, I didn't even want it to go here. I'm just going to show you guys. I don't know if you can see it, but here's my phone. If I now open up the Instagram app, instead of opening up the Instagram app, what it now does, it shows me to a different screen. This says, do you really want this? Then there's like a countdown, like a thing that slowly rolls down. And then it says one attempt to open Instagram in the last 24 hours. Last use, 86 hours ago. Wow. So you can see it's already working. Uh, then it gives me some alternatives that I could do. Stretching, meditating, reading, or going for a walk. And then there's two buttons down here, one says, I don't want to open Instagram. And the next says, continue Instagram. So when I then click continue Instagram, then it, it opens another window. I don't think you can see this, but I'll tell you what it says. It says, what's your intention of opening Instagram this time? And then it gives you some options, bored, stressed, tired, sad, anxious, procrastinate, toilet, can't sleep, chill a bit, kill time. Or you can add your own little reason. And so then you, you know, you pick one and, and only then I'm on my Instagram app. So the whole point of this app is basically to just add friction, right? I can still open Instagram. It's still on my phone. I'm still locked in. The only difference is when I open it, it's I think roughly 15 seconds of things happening before I can actually enter into Instagram. This literally changed everything for me. Like, I mean, I just read you that the last time I opened Instagram was 86 hours ago. That's crazy. But if I go to my screen time, where it tracks how much time you're using. So this week, today is Friday. I spent five minutes this week, today's Friday, on Instagram. My usage time on my phone is not going up. Last week, I spent 11 minutes on Instagram during the whole week. The week before that, I spent 20 minutes on Instagram. Like that's what I used to spend easily in a day. I mean, more than that, like half an hour a day. And so I think it's a really interesting concept because I've tried deleting Instagram and apps before. The problem is it works for a time and then you want it back because I think Instagram is actually a great thing overall, right? Like I get to connect with people. I get to see some funny memes. I get to post and share what I'm up to and get reactions from people. I love Instagram. It's just, you spend too much time on it and then it becomes too much. So if you delete it after like a week or two, you miss it and you bring it back. And so the only, only point of this app is really to bring some intention into it, to bring some friction into it so that when you have that little instinct of like, oh, let me go to Instagram or I'm bored or you're standing in line or you're on the toilet, it just shows you that screen of saying, do you really want this? And it helps you to just check in and be like, wait a second. No, I don't have any intention of going here. I'm not going here because I want to check this message or see what this person is up to or post this thing or do this one specific thing that I came here to do, or even say, you know what, I'm just really tired right now, want to kill 20 minutes of time. There's just no intention. It's just this automatic reaction. And that just completely removed, was removed with this app. And Instagram is the only app that I really had problems with. I felt like I was spending more time than I wanted to. Right? That's the whole point. Like no one's telling you, you shouldn't be on Instagram or you should be on Instagram. It's just, do you yourself feel like you're spending too much time on these apps? And do you feel like you're spending time on these apps when you don't really want to be on these apps? And that's how I felt about Instagram. And so I downloaded this app like two or three months ago and it really worked. Like it's actually working as I showed you. And I'm not, you know, redirecting that kind of attention into some other app or some other addiction or TikTok or YouTube. I'm just less on these platforms. So it's called one sec, one next word, sec, S-E-C. It takes a little bit of time to set up. I can highly recommend it. I think there's a free plan. I'm not affiliated, obviously, but I can highly recommend it if you if you have the same issue that that I had.